Most students back in the classroom and parents are wondering if they'll be notified if there are cases in their children's school. Well, Sydney Bouchelle went to find out today what your rights are and what are the rights of the infected student. Hey, Sid, what'd you find out? Hey, Randy, well, each school district has their own reporting protocol, so you may not be notified if there's a positive case in your child's school, but you will be notified if your child has been in contact with a positive case. Um, we make sure that uh, anyone who um, could possibly have come in contact um, you know, with someone who has COVID-19 is, is contacted to let them know. Pender County School spokesman Alex Riley explains parents will only be notified of positive COVID-19 cases if their child has come in contact with the virus. The health department helps us um, with uh, issuing any quarantining protocols, isolation protocols, recommending that someone get tested. Um, all those sort of things. Their main priority is protecting the community. And while Pender County schools are growing, it could be easy to identify a student or a teacher. For example, if an entire school was notified that one second grader came in contact with COVID, it could be easily narrowed down when there's only 50 to 60 second graders in the school. Riley says they do not want to violate the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act or create a panic and they are taking all necessary steps to notify those who come in contact with the virus. Not trying to provide the information so that they can pinpoint this is the, the child that has it or this is the teacher that has it, things like that. So it's, it's a delicate balance um, between protecting uh, anonymity as well as protecting the community as well. Brunswick County Schools operate similarly and have created a dashboard that is updated on a daily basis. New Hanover County Schools not only notify students who have been in contact, administrators will send out school-wide calls or emails to notify parents of positive cases while individually contacting those directly in contact with the virus. New Hanover County Schools utilize a dashboard as well, updated weekly. According to their dashboard, New Hanover County Schools has 17 positive cases as of right now, and their dashboard has not yet been updated for those quarantined this week. And in Brunswick County, there are 11 active cases and 140 people are quarantined. And in Pender County, 23 people are isolated and 169 people are quarantined at this time.